Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem. Baruch HaMavah. We're continuing in Mishnah Baruch Daf HaShavua. We're learning Simen Tzadi Dalid. We're up to Sivkatan Yud. Sivkatan Yud. We're in the middle of Siv Beis. The Mechaber said that if you're davening to a different direction, at least face, turn your face to Eretz Yisrael. So in other words, for whatever reason, you want it to become wise, you want to become wealthy, so you're facing the north, you're facing the south, or you're riding on an animal, and there's no way to turn your body toward Eretz Yisrael, at least turn your face toward Eretz Yisrael. Then the Ramah says, we who turn our face to the Mizrach, because we're west of Eretz Yisrael, you should not make the Arayin mamish neged where the sun shines. Says Mishnah Bura, Let's say you're in the middle of Dominic Shvan Esrim. For whatever reason, you're facing the north or the south, and they reminded you. Should you, like, you know, position yourself, start, do a flip, turn around, jump around? It is usher to uproot your feet, to turn to the east. Twist your head to the east, and that's enough. Even if you're davening with others who are facing the east, mamish, don't st- step out of your Shemana Esrei, just turn your face to the east. If it's impossible, or let's say you're facing the west, then you should direct your thoughts toward the Holy of Holies, and don't uproot your feet. But if you're davening in a shul, so now, now it looks funny. Now it looks funny. Everyone's davening to one direction, and you, Chacham from the Manashtana, you decided to face a different direction. Why? Because that's just how much kavana you've been having since the beginning of davening. That's what happens when you bring your phone into the Beis HaKnesses. So, you're facing the cell phone tower instead of uh, facing the Mizrach. Then the halach is, it's, it's going to cause a commotion. Don't fa- then you'll have to turn yourself to the direction that the tzibur is davening. Mitzadi b'primagadim loimar. Primagadim is inclined to say, You should turn yourself to the direction of the kahal. V'chein pasag b'sefer shulchan shlamay. Beis ha-knesset shehemidoi b'ayis ha-arein ha-kosh darim ha-olam. Let's say a shul that they put the Arayin toward the south. V'kula mispalalim neged Aran HaKodesh u'litzad darim. And everyone's davening in the direction of the Arayin toward the south. Av shehu shaloi kahagin, even though it's not the right thing, v'chanab sivkat antes, like we said earlier, v'kamakam abol espalo sham, if you're going to come to Davin there, you You follow the Tzibor. Davin toward the south, even though it's not correct that they're Davin to the south. But you don't want to be Parish Manat Tzibor. But turn your face to the Mizrach. Fine. Now the Ramah said something very interesting. That not to put the Arayin and the tzad tefillah neged zricha sashemesh mamish, because that's derech aminim, rak mechavne neged emtza hayom. So we didn't quite understand what that means. What do you mean neged emtza hayom? Emtza hayom is uh, the sun is directly overhead, right? So what well, you're going to be davening up, everyone's going to be lying down on the floor, facing upward. It says Mishabur, neged emtza hayom, haylish nalav davka. This language is not precise. El Ratzalemer, be'erech chatsi sha'i sha'acherkach. It means. You're going to tur- turn yourself to the east, but like 30 minutes after sunrise. Now, what direction is that? Doesn't the sun go from east to west? So, are you doing it toward the north now or toward the south? Half an hour after sunrise? No, a half hour after when the, where the sun rises. That's how I understand it. Sha. 
Does the sun in its route, when it travels from east to west, does it go south or does it go north? So is that what the Mishabro means? That you should face east, but a half hour or an hour south, or depending where you are? By then the sun has already made a big trip. You evaluate this at the time that the Tkufas Nisan falls out or Tishrei. So let, let's take a look in the Bir Halacha. Bir Halacha says that Vidash, Shekol Ha'aratzah Yisho Elo Asher Anur Shechem All the places we live, Kulam Him Kenegad Ma'aravis Tzvaynis Shal Eretzia Are Kenegad the The uh, The The Northwest of Eretz Yisrael Ve'en Mechuvanim B'ma'aravis Shal Eretz Yisrael Mamash Meaning, Europe, where the where Poland was northwest. Europe, Poland was northwest of Eretz Yisrael. You want to make it a little bit southeast. By making it southwest, A, it's going to be actually opposite Eretz Yisrael, and B, you're not going to look like an Apikoros. You want to make a shul so that about six or seven days into the tkufa, when the sun rises, the sun will shine through the window in the middle of the eastern wall of the Beis HaKnesses, V'yaka Nitzot Kenegda Ala Maravi, and it will glimmer on the western wall of the Shul, Noitze Noite HaNitzot Mina Emtza Koisa Maravi, Litza Doroim Rochaik Mina HaEmtza, and the shine will turn from the middle of the western Wall toward the south, far from the middle. But oifen shekamay chatsi sha oisha achar zricha, so that about a half hour hour after the shining of the sun, tagia el emsa hakoisel mamish, it will reach the middle of the wall mamish mul chaloi namizrachi, opposite the eastern window. And this type of shul is mamish standing, keneged yushalayim in the base of mikdash. However, Avalam Nami Dena, Baoifen, Shakisha Khaizar, Sacham, Yomana, Bachalan, Mizrahi, Yake, Nitzot, Sashem, Zukos, and Ravi, Mamish, Negad, Chalon, Be Emsoi, Miyad, Be Isaz Richa, but if you're going to make it, then when the sun shines in the eastern window, the light will glimmer on the western wall. Mamish, opposite the window in the middle, that's straight up against the east. And this is how the Goyim do it. And you're not going to be opposite Yushalayim. Says the Bach, whatever the Lavush said is what the Shulchan Aruch means, Keneged Em Tzahayoyim. So Keneged Em Tzahayoyim means about a half hour, hour after sunrise. Wherever the sun is about a half hour or an hour after sunrise, but I don't think it means wherever the sun is. It means a half hour or an hour after sunrise. That's when, that's when the sun will reach the eastern wall.
Okay, so a half hour or an hour after sunrise, what is that doing for us? That's making it that the sun is going to end up shining on the western wall, but not mamish in the middle. It's going to be toward the south. Basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure, aside from the fact you, want to, you don't want to be facing dead east, you want to make sure you're facing Yerushalayim. And if uh, you put the shul dead east, there's no way in America you're facing dead uh, Yerushalayim. So basically, the, the Arain in, in, in New York is supposed to be not east, it's supposed to be southeast. That's the bottom line. Your shul's Arain should be southeast. What should you do if your shul's Arain is east? Then you, uh, you basically you face the same direction as the shul and you turn your head toward southeast. So you, you want to get a little compass and determine where Yerushalayim is. And even though your shul might be davening dead east, you should not. You should turn your head. You should direct your body to the direction of the Arayin, the way that everyone else is davening, and turn your head toward Yerushalayim. Bukhara, that's what he's saying. No, their mechavne means you turn. Where? Which line? No, no, their mechavne means you direct yourself. I mean, it's talking about the arayin and the tefillah. Excuse me, it's talking about the arayin and the and the uh, wall of tefillah. So you put the Ara and you direct the Ara in Neged Em Tzayim. Neged Em Tzayim means slightly toward the south. How that fits into the words Em Tzayim, it's Lav Davka. It means a half hour or hour after. How, what exactly the half hour, the hour, how that fits into the south, meaning what exactly happens in the half hour or hour after sunrise that this is that turning the direction of tefillah to the south it seems to do with the way the sun comes into the window and shines on the western wall when this a half hour or hour after sunrise the sun will enter the middle window on the east and shine on the western wall slightly and not more than slightly toward the south Sounds like not. It sounds like, let's say, an hour after sunrise. That's what I was thinking about. Like between 10 and 11, or 11 and 12, the sun, you don't see it moving a lot. But between sunrise and an hour after, it seems like it makes a big difference. Or at least the, the angle of the ray of that the sun is going to be shining into the window. I don't know. I don't have a clear way to explain this. Bottom line is that you don't want to put the R in dead east and you don't want to be facing dead east because then you're not facing Yushalayim. So I guess it's Kadai one day to get a compass, go into the shul, see where your R is, see where Yushalayim is. Don't change how you stand, change where you turn your head. Now the question is, what if I want to become smart and change... The Chaira in America, it's conducive to becoming smart because... In America, you're north of, of Eretz Yisrael, and you're north of Yerushalayim, so you're going to be turning south. Yeah? If you're living in uh, South, A south Africa, that's why they found gold in South Africa, because they, they have to face north, so they became rich, you know? There you go. So basically, if you want to find gold, go south of the equator and face north. Okay. Um, Vaiter in the Mishnabura. Sha'az ta'af, fine. Uva sefer lechem chamudas yishe minag oilam. The lechem chamudas farenfer is the, the minog to put the orange dead east. Kamak mashmine gamkin shetavios lasus kadeber levosh. 
he's only giving a rationalization, but he would ad- admit that it's better to do the way Lulavush recommends. The Mizdamein Lamakam Shakoisel who Kenegan Amizrach. If you happen to come to a place where the Koisel is Mamish opposite the east, who Mitzadeid Panov Neged Mizrachas Jarmus, you should turn to the southeast, Ayin Sham. By the way, a compass is not going to do anything for you. Because <laughs> the compass is going to tell you where east is, but you don't need to go east. You need to go, you need a. You shalayim. You need the app, not the compass. And not the compass app. The thing is, you can't bring the app into the shul because you're not allowed to bring a phone into a shul. So stand outside of the shul, figure out where the arayin is, and then stand outside of the shul and use your app. Yeah, your compass is not going to do anything. The guy that has his, you know, his fill-in bag that looks like an army thing that that doesn't provide any, any protection for the tefillin. You need a, you need a Yushalayim director, not a, not a, um, you have, you, what are you showing me? Is that a compass or an app, or is that a Yushalayim? You, you live, what direction do you face? Straight dead south. That's why you're so smart, yeah. Okay. But that's because what you live you're in, in North Yerushalayim. So in Beersheba they face dead north. Okay, and in uh, East Jerusalem, what do they face? West. Where the Arain is dead east, the rabbi should sit north of the Arain so that he can become smart. You don't want to you don't want to hear the rabbi giving bad shirim. You go to a show, the rabbi is giving bad shirim, it's because they put his they put his stender in the wrong place. He's facing the north. He might, he might be able to pay the bills, but he's not, he's not providing you the service you need. The Badarim, you have Shalahajim. If he's in the south, it's impossible to be Madrim. The Chanal. And in the place where the whole seaboard is facing southeast, then Royal Hoysheva Ravli Minha Arayim. Then you should, okay, one, so one second. The north, if the Arayin is facing dead east, so then you want to put the rabbi on the north. The north would be the west, so that when he's facing the east, he's slightly angled to the south. But in the place they do like the Lavush, so then the Arayin is southeast. If you're going to put the rabbi west, then what? Then he's not faced, then he's facing the, the, the north. So therefore he should p- be put on the right side. Unless it's going to uh, cause a machlaikis, then, then forget about it. But I don't have that cheshven. Why if the Arain is southeast and the rabbi is on the then the rabbi should be on the north. Then the rabbi should be in the south. If the Arn is dead east, if the Arn is dead east, and then you, the rabbi's in the north, so he could face slightly the south. If the Arn is southeast, so then you put him in the south. I don't see why it would make a difference where he's sitting. Rabbi Yisai, have a great day. All your tools should be in the Skabel, Darach Yushalayim. Help them.